Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Songs of Six. Today, I think our objective should be to get a good source of money, a renewable source of money, so that way we can import more of the things. Because uh, I think that's going to go a long way to solving some of the happiness problems. Uh, speaking of happiness problems, I think I also probably should invest a little bit more into the edible foods. It is going to cost about a bajillion science points, but... Oh, no, that's too expensive. I'll get one for veggies, too. Yikerinos. Oh, we could do uh, some fish. Awesome. We're down to below 100,000 science for the first time in a while. Eventually, uh, I don't know, I'll make like another grand laboratory. So, uh, I guess the first step would be to see like what is our cash industry. Uh, what are we selling that is giving us the most cash? So let's see, we're making 100,000 on, or no, 11,000 on booze uh, lately. Oh, it averages it out, I think, so... Okay, so 30,000, 11.2k is the most recent one. Then mushrooms, we've spent 153,000 on, which is what it is. We apparently have been selling 40,000 40, worth of rations. Pretty neat. Uh, we could definitely do to tax in more wood so that we would have to import less because that is a humongous money sink. Livestock no longer is awesome for us. Apparently sold a little bit of cotton. Weather is okay. We could do to import more iron as well apparently. Mm, we made a hundred thousand on clothing and a hundred thousand on bows. Interesting. How much were we making on jewelry? Uh, almost a million denarii. I think that's when I sold like a fuck ton of them though, all at once. Hmm. Do we have the gym count to? I guess we do have gems. We could maybe produce a little bit more jewelry. Kind of looks like bows are a uh, pretty good cash uh, weapon for us. Uh, how much are we selling the bows at? Uh, this was going to be a bow export depot. I remember that, so I can just see. So, oh, we were really selling the crap out of the bows. I guess I'm going to lower the bow export amount and make another boyery. I was kind of figuring our, like, cash industry was going to be in the, uh, Dwarven Quarter, but I guess not. Probably going to want, like, even more of a Tilapi Town here. This is becoming, like, a nice little Tilapi Quarter. I'm thinking I want to do, like, a big spoon around this tavern for the Boyer. So I guess first things first, I guess I'm going to want this to be two bow thingies wide. Uh, cause that would be awesome. Hmm. It's either that or we do like a skinny one. It's gonna be need, need to be one wider as well, so that the, uh, there are gonna be pillars in the center. Let's see, 12 wide. Un. There's no space for storage. Nor is there enough auxiliaries. Also, it's square. Uh, okay, in that case, we can make the building rounded over here. That will give me uh, a little bit of a roundedness. Cool. Oh, no. I think I've completely borked this. Okay, I mean, we're not going to need the auxiliary stations down here if it's fully rounded, right? I think I'm fine with... Excuse me? Why did that cut that off? Okay, game, that's a little bit rude. Maybe we can uh, just make it super duper rounded by doing the gear design here. 
Okay. I mean, that's absolutely hideous, but that'll work. And then last but not least, we increase the stuff over here. I guess there's going to be a couple pillars on the edges. I was just thinking we could have an auxiliary station over here to like finish it out. And then we're going to need a storage, which I guess will just be... It should really be a big storage, right? So maybe we can squeeze the auxiliaries in somewhere else. Oh yeah, like these fucking nuggies. Yeah, hold up. Can I just nuggy max? I absolutely can nuggy max. Awesome. Then in that case, the storage can just be along this wall. There we go. 100% rounded. Uh, and all the entrances, I think, are just going to be, like, along this internal side. It's still 100% isolation, even with all these things. Very cool. It's going to be enough for 124 Tilapi workers. Uh, we don't really have that many Tilapi immigrants queued up, but that is what it is. We're going to get more, because this... The zone is going to be so awesome that all the Tilapis will love to live here. You know, I could take up, like, this whole, like, district down here for housing. Because I think the housing can be slightly further. I think, they, I think it's a little bit better when the services are near-ish the workplace. Because people will tend to go to the home at the end of the day. Oh, well, there we go. I mean, that's many, many, many homes. I don't know if it's enough homes, but it sure as fuck feels like it could be. I mean, one of these apartments is 36, so two of them is 72, and we have... Oh yeah, we have way more than enough. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, where is my tavern warehouse? Probably should have another warehouse just to uh, support this tavern. So I'm gonna do that. The tavern warehouse one can be like pretty small. <laughs> that is not a tavern warehouse, that is a tavern. Excuse me. Alright, here we go. Tavern warehouse will be the small building. We're gonna probably also gonna want like a, I don't know, micro building feeding this boyer with materials. Maybe even two of the motherfuckers. This is a really awkward road right here. Not gonna lie, but... That's fine. Pretty much knew what I was signing up for when I... made a big spoon. So yeah, let's say that there is a warehouse back here. Oh, that really would make the road too tiny. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we, we could just put the warehouse... Uh, I don't know, right here. I think that's completely fine. Little square, buddy. Right? I mean, it's probably not going to be enough uh, storage capacity. I mean, 1.2k. This is just the raw materials. Then I guess... I mean, this warehouse could hold the uh, exports, or the bows, already, so. Uh, there we go. So what services do the Tilapis desire? Looks like they only have 55% fulfillment. Don't they like making bows? I thought Tilapis liked making bows. Is that not true? Am I employing them doing random other shit? No, they don't like making bows, Sag. Okay. Well, uh, suck, suck to lampies. That's a cash industry. Like, we're not doing a... I mean, I could maybe make a, another woodcutter. It would kind of suck to, you know, make one and then immediately remove it, but... Whatever. Uh, we do need the extra wood, so... I'll just do that right now. It's very nostalgic. I remember when uh, New Ganymede had a ton of these fucking things. 
it's kind of a relic of a bygone era. I mean, usually relics of the bygone era are like pre-existing ones. They are like new, new discoveries. It's kind of like a. Uh, I don't don't mean this to be like super political or anything, but like, sort of reminds me of like opening up like a new coal mine in the year 2023. Uh, you know, because there's this whole like a uh, thing uh, in the Midwest, I think. My knowledge on it is a little bit fucked, where, like, all the, uh, coal mines and shit just fucking closed. Or something. It was, like, a something politicians would run on sometimes. I don't know. Gives me the similar vibe. Uh, what else do they need? Wait, what? Customary for pardons. I do not care to pardon people. Okay, that's too much work on my part. Should just not do crimes if they don't want to do the time. Could give them livestock. It would use up 2,460 of the things. So I think probably not. I think I'll just go for services. Looks like new spots, healthcare, stages, arenas, and laboratories. You know, all of the things. Could probably use some work. Toppies don't have enough bathhouses. It's surprising that the dudes even like them. I mean, you know, for like elves it makes sense, but these are wood elves. I don't picture wood elves like bathing. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's like a bad stereotype. If they were gonna bathe somewhere, I think like a wood elf would bathe in a hot spring. You know? So it's like a natural bath, right? I don't think I want like a crazy big bathhouse. Just do like a boom. There we go. And then we can get some benches. The benches should be incredibly easy. Uh, we need one more. There we go. Just a small bathhouse for all the workers here. Uh, it could be a little bit more rounded. Does mean that we're gonna need to redo the benches slightly. Yeah, there could be some rounding pillars over here. Yeah, you can see the tilapies. The roundedness factor is just increasing exponentially. And then I kind of want... I don't know why, but I feel like this zone should be like kind of fucky with its uh, road. Like the idea of a big winding one. So having like a warehouse here to naturally like guide the people to meander will be cool. Sort of like a, you know, the classic, like, England road or whatever that's all, like, fucked up. I'll put another one down, actually, and have this one be the, like, some more bow storage. I'll just put the door right here. There we go. So that is the bathhouse. And then... Should probably be like a little plaza. Where would I put the plaza though? I kind of feel like up here would be pretty nice. It's right next to the bowyers and a bunch of these farms, so the farmers could come on down and enjoy it as well. Seems pretty cool to me. So obviously, I think like a circular plaza would be cool. I could maybe do like a full on ellipse. So, 20 by 20, I think, uh, uh, 22 by 22 would be cool. Then we just go back to the normal, like, pathing route. Okay, then in the center will be, of course, entertainment. Uh, I mean, there could be a pavilion. I don't think there's any pavilions nearby, right? I mean, there's one down there, actually. Hold up. That being said, there isn't any up here. No, wait, that's one. Well, let's just see. What's a Tilapi Pavilion access? So stages, 72%, new spots, 81%. Well, I mean, they're, they're in the similar ballpark. 
I guess the stage would fit because it's an even number building and this is even number ball. So yeah, that's six on each side and six on each side. Boom. Dead set in the center. We can just construct some decorations. Uh, do the tilapies care about lighting? Let us see. They do not give a fuck about lighting. Uh, lighting, interesting. I mean, the piganoids do, right? Let's see, the piganoids. Yeah, they pretty much like it. I mean, this is the tilapi quarter. If the tilapies don't give a fuck about lighting, then I'm not gonna light it up. It's so weird, the dwarves actually do care about lighting in this game, I'm pretty sure. So for the Talapis to not care about the lighting? Highly interesting. I do think... We're probably already going to be at 100% harmony with all these trees. Going a little bit overkill. But I do like the aesthetic of just like a bunch of trees surrounding a park. Well, there we go. Then I guess I'll have like a little bit of a dirt road path leading out of it in each angle, except for the bottom. Which, uh, I mean, the bottom could be some benches. I like the idea of the benches, you know? There we go. So that'll be a pavilion. May or may not make sense to also put in like a speaker stand somewhere. It would eat up a little bit of the space, though, is the problem. Maybe not. Maybe the speaker stands could, uh, I don't know, be in their own plaza. It could be like a couple speaker stands out here, actually. Sort of benefit from the, uh, you know, the park radiating the harmony. So this is like a mini external addition to the park. I think that'll be cool. So that'll solve those Tlappy needs. City needs more children? No, more entertainment. Okay. Interesting. Not really much to say about that one. I mean, a canteen or eatery would also be good here, I think. And, uh, I don't know. I'm really feeling the eatery. I think that would be a cool one. Just put the sucker, like, right here. Uh, it's slightly too big. I'll just shrink it one. Boom. It's not 100% organic, but we can fix that in post. Oh. Uh, now, how are we actually going to fix this thing? <laughs> I guess we could be a little bit additive with it. Just add, like, a couple nuggies. There we go. 100% organic. These nuggies will be like entrances and exits. There we go. And then another warehouse could go... I don't know, adjacent to this warehouse. Just to add to the like meandering nature of the path here. Boom. Speaking of the meandering path, I might as well build it up right now. I'd like to add some trees too, if I can fit them somewhere, just to increase the harmony access. Maybe maybe on slash near this road over here. Like here'd be a pretty good spot for them. And uh there's a spot right here. So I'll plop one of those down. And one right here. That'll make the farm workers happy as well. Oh, and some right here would be nice. There we go. No, it's looking kind of nice, actually. Not really like a humongous fan of the uh, like gravel aesthetic, but still. Oh, this area right here could use some harmony. I mean, it's going to get a little bit of a boost from the tree here. I kind of think I could just go nuts with it and add a couple more trees. Uh, and hold up. Accidentally dug into the wall there. Okay, hopefully these trees help out. Oh, 
Oh, there's a little spot right here. That'd be good. Hmm. You know, speaking of beautifying roads, we could probably continue our project of beautifying the roads in the Dwarven Quarter as well. I forget, did we hit a, like a super dead end on that because all the roads are too narrow? It's kind of looking like the answer is yes. Oh, here would be a perfect spot for some statue action. Uh, where is my nearest statues, actually? I mean, there's this area, which has got 100% awe, which is nice. Like, dips a little bit when we get over here. I think, obviously, I could just plant, like, a statue over there. Because why not? I don't know if, uh, putting the statue over here will increase awe through the pillar, but I might as well. So this double thickness place right here, I think could have like a big statue on each side. I know it does fuck up the pathing a little bit, but that's fine, you know. I for one think the aesthetics matter a little bit more. It's gonna give happiness to the Deuterinos. I kind of like how these torches look actually. I kind of think I want to go for it in this whole zone as well. So that seems pretty badass to me. Don't know if it's going to fuck up the isolation on these places, but still. And I was thinking could have like torches on either, either side of these statues too. Maybe one in this corner as well. How's the uh in this zone anyways? 40%? Jesus. I don't know if I like the tiny pillar technology. I think it's kind of hot dog shit. Let's see, how wide is this? This is four blocks wide. Okay, I've got a, I've got a new plan. So I could probably delete all these guys. Boom. That's going to have to be refilled with fancy road, but luckily the grand stone should be right next to it. We could do some pillars in the center of this place, which, you know, would absolutely fuck up traffic, but it would give eye uh, access. Maybe not, actually. Maybe, uh, maybe it should just be the central road that has the eye uh, pillars. Uh, how's this design? Did this one actually work out? Ugh. 50 to 60, huh? Also, I noticed in previous episode while I was editing, but I actually fucked up the uh, distance between these. Oh. I mean, when the pillars are placed next to each other, it works out. Okay, I've got a, I've got a plan. It's absolutely like super duper. Uh, Sisyphusian because it's going to create a lot of work for my workers. But I think I'm just going to double up the pillars and actually make it where uh, it does cramp up the road a little bit. Because I think that will be that'll be the awe that we need to please these dwarfanoids. There we go. I mean, I'll allow, like, some branches, right? Like, uh... Maybe every other one, I'll have, like, a little gap for, uh, dudes to path around. That should still provide 100% lighting. There we go. Yeah, that'll be golden. So, new and improved walking path. It'll be absolutely magnificent. We could maybe do some of the same technology here. Oh, that seems so... so stupid, though. <laughs> People are using the crap out of this road. I think it'd be foolishness to fuck it up. People aren't using this road as much, though. This, like, giant horizontal one. So maybe the same treatment could be done here. 
It is five wide, which uh, definitely puts a little bit of a crimp in that plan. Like it would maybe make sense just to have skinny pillars all the way there, but skinny pillars don't really give that much awe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to go for like a big pillar. That's the other, only other one that would like fit perfectly centered, right? So I think that would kind of fuck it up a little bit too much. Uh, do I have a singular statue? No, there's two over here. It'd be it'd be nice to see how much a single statue gave. I don't think it gives 100 awe, even in conjunction with the super roots. Yeah, I mean, these two motherfuckers don't give 100% awe until you're standing in the, like, combined light. I guess they give, like, 60% awe or some shit. Hmm. I mean, there is a way to make it look semi-intentional. That would be to have it be, like, on the top hand side, so people just div it downwards. Just create, like, a couple choke points that way. Don't know if it'd be super great. Hmm. You know, I think this road's massive enough where we could get away with it. I see these, like, uh, wells that are placed periodically, so if I could put a statue in between each of these wells, it would line up perfectly and still allow people to just sort of, like, path around all of them. So I think I will do that. If I wanted to be really fancy with it, I could have like a plaza sort of be in between these guys. I kind of think that would be cool, actually, even though it would fuck up traffic a little bit. There we go. Actually, hold up. <laughs> no, that would look terrible because the fucking wells don't blend in. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. No plaza for you. There we go. Should be good enough uh, access for the dwarf anoints, maybe. Oh wow, some of these wells actually have 100% load. That's cool. To be honest, I think the well and bath house access might be like a zero sum game. <laughs> Not 100% sure. Wait, what? Dwarf well access? 35%? Excuse me? What the hell? Does there actually need to be more wells everywhere? What about the humans? Access 38%. Jesus Christ, dude. Okay, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I just don't have enough wells in my town. <laughs> what the fuck? How can I even fit more? The Piganoids at least have 100% well access, right? Those motherfuckers should. 51%, dude? Are you kidding me? It's gotta be that there's like dead spots in town that there's just uh, not enough wells in. Uh, where could I put some? I mean, I could put some in this plaza. Seems kind of like a waste of space, though. Well, I mean, if, if it wasn't going to be in the plaza, where could it be? Having one in this little parking lot would be cool, I guess. We already have a couple over here that seem to have 0% load. Is there like a access to well map? I know there's a Sweetwater one, but I don't think Sweetwater uh, makes sense, because I don't think they need a well, like, every single, like, ten feet. I mean, this whole area is kind of like a well uh, lacking zone. <laughs> you know, it could do something radical. Uh, we could probably get rid of this statue and put a well in the center instead. <laughs> it's going to fuck up the awe a little bit, but... I think desperate times call for desperate measures. What's the awe level? No, the awe is still 100%, even under where the statue was. Okay, then another well could be right here. 
It'll fit perfectly. People will be forced to go through the little plaza zones, which will be a little bit annoying, but... I mean, they're already going through the plaza zones, so... That'll be that done. That should provide a decent amount of access to everyone over here. I can get Dwarfenoid access higher to Wells. I mean, there's always, like, new sections of town to, like, carve out, I guess. But is this inaccessible? Unreachable from Throne? But they can't path through this building. It's kind of rude. Uh, in that case, I'm j definitely going to want to just delete this room right here. This place is so fucking grand. Oh! Oh, there's this wall right here. You know, I think I, I could probably dig into this mountain over here and just unshackle this well, and that should increase the amount of access in and of itself. So no reason this well should be, like, locked away in a little private cubicle. So that is an increase. Part of me wants to take out, like, an apartment or something. Any solution I come up with is naturally just going to gravitate towards putting it on the edges of town. Oh. Yeah, like, this place doesn't have any. I mean, okay. I guess, realistically speaking, I could put a few wells down, like, along the side of this road or even in the center of this road. I had them before and then I bulldozed them for a reason and, like, completely fucked up traffic. Oh. You know, speaking of, uh, housing, uh, I think I was gonna have dorms here, right? Just set that up real quick. Very cool. Uh, how big would the, uh, if I wanted one more? Would dip too far into the water? Okay. This is a complete failure of city planning. This is so tragic. Uh, I mean, okay. I guess I could put one more up here. There we go. Yeah, I mean, this one's got a lot of load, so it is helping out. And I'm pretty sure bathhouses count as the same sort of service, so we could probably put a... Put a bathhouse up here. That's the whole reason I emptied out this part of the land, right? Oh, it's just too tiny to have, like, a maxed out basin. Oh, that is fine. can just have, like, a... It was always going to be a tiny bathhouse here. Oh, no, there needs to be three benches. Okay, what if I... Boom, and then I put, like, a, another tiny basin here. Oh! There we go. So that'll be, like, a nice little addition to this zone, which will hopefully alleviate the water needs for the duders there. And they drink the Dwarven Gamer Girl bathwater. It's probably the foulest substance known to man. How's the awe access here now? Let's see, ah, 100%. And lighting 100%. That's absolutely magnificent. It does taper off towards the edges, but that's completely acceptable. So any dwarf walking through here is gonna get a little bit of a, like a pep to their step. Oh, are you serious? Why did they build the pillar like that? That's so rude. Okay, whatever. How's there stone road under that pillar? What the fuck? Whatever, that'll just be like a little nook that people can just hang out in. Very interesting. Maybe there was a stone road there before that I built the plaza on top of. Wait, what? How do I have negative 78 odd jobbers? Excuse me? What happened? I mean, I'm going to add in 81 tilapia jobbers, even though the tilapia's going to be fucking rioting. Uh, and I guess I'll add in a little bit of human action, too. There we go. The tilapies are not happy. Hello, friend. We're a band of noble people. They're asking for seven digits of money. So, one million dollars. There's 981 soldiers 
Bro, I have fucking more than that just like chilling in Alaska right now. Yeah, literally. Like, who gives a shit? Just gonna ignore their offer. I hope they fucking attack me. You know, we've been lacking, lacking in arena access since been 100% because no one has dared to step up to the fucking plate. So I actually appreciate these entrepreneurs trying to uh, harass me. I think uh, it is definitely super duper. You no, know, it's a nice opportunity for me. You know, realistically speaking, I guess like a couple tiny wells could fit next to these statues. It's either that or like I move the light over here and have one. I have no idea if uh, it matters if the well is pressed up against a wall or not. I really hope it doesn't matter. I think it makes too much sense to have the wells back here though. So these two wells will service everyone in the uh, university. I kind of think I want to... Yeah, I'm gonna replace this fucking torch with a large well. So I think that is hilarious. And then we could do like tiny torches just to, uh, you know, split the difference. So I just like put one, I don't know, in the center of this area. Is there even a center? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I mean, I could put a single torch in the center, but that's kind of what was over here. Okay, you know what? At the edges of these benches, there can be torches. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll make the lighting 100%. Is using up a bit of space, but so be it. So I'll be the well access for these like 300 people. I see the temple authority is still incomplete as well. You know, we could probably use a little bit more harmony access in this Tilapi quarter, come to think of it. Like there's areas where it's kind of okay, but I don't think it's nearly enough. I think we could have. There's a lot less traffic in the zone, right? So we could probably have like a row of trees just sort of all the way up to the nature plaza. The nature plaza itself is at approximately 100% harmony. Oh, this is gonna fuck up traffic pretty greatly. Whatever, it's gotta be done. Then I think like a few trees, uh, I'm gonna say lined up with each of these apartments. Would be cool. That way this grand road will be 100% harmonied out. So while they're going to get their well water, they can just get a, a little boost. How's the harmony over here? 53%, we could definitely just uh, go buck wild with it and have even more harmony. Down here, since it's like space we're not even using anyways. This is sort of like the pigonoid part of town, but the pigonoids love the harmony as well. A tree right here would be pretty badass too. Just like a sandwich of trees. Oh, there's no harmony over here in this like little pig zone either. Guess I could add in, I don't know, a tree up here. Be good. Oh my god, they don't even have dirt roads. This village is so impoverished. The poor lads. Oh, hold up, that's, that's water over there. Probably don't want to uh, bowl over that. Oh. And a nice little tree spot over here as well. I think this is an estate. I'll be honest, I'm starting to forget which state this is. It's just the uh, the fabric workers estate. They sort of slowly got their jobs replaced by dwarves. I guess it's a fallen noble estate. Highly rough, but be would it be. Now it's just like a renovated apartment complex. Oh yeah, this place has 100%. Well, uh, oh, like fluctuates between 100 and 93% until it gets to the end. That's pretty golden. You know, I think on that note, 
uh, we can sort of end the episode here so that we can start the next episode with the big fight. Uh, we had a goal of increasing our money. And I think, I mean, we obviously haven't quite yet succeeded at the goal, but we've queued up just the most massive bow industrial like construction complex there ever was. So I think we are gonna, we're gonna be well on our way to solving that goal. We increased access to harmony, increased access to wells, to awe, and just in general, like renovated the Dwarven Quarter and the Tlapi Quarter. A much needed uh, step of maintenance, even if it isn't like super like uh, glorious, right? You know, it's uh, a, <laughs> I want to say like the unsung heroes that uh, help out society. And the unsung heroes in this case are the workers building pillars. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Songs of Six. Goodbye!